can go a little bit bigger than that. Because uh, we got a bigger bigger launching peel, so let's go about that big. We're going to uh, Salami on this. More of the New York style pizza sauce and the Neapolitan pizza. Some fresh, not fresh, but freshly grated. Uh, whole milk mozzarella. Finally able to get me some. It's pretty difficult to get that. I usually have the skim milk type. I'm gonna put some uh, salami. This salami is quite expensive. It's a locally made salami, and it was like a it's like nine dollars for a small. A small uh, piece, probably about uh, maybe this big, like nine bucks. So, but as salamis go here in Japan, that that's a little pricey. So, but I've already tasted this before the uh, time I made pizza previously, so I know it's good. Okay, that's all we're gonna put on that. A little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and show you how the peel works. Okay, so let me zoom out there and show you how that works. Okay. I still like to flour my, my surface. This this guy this guy has holes in it, so all that flour is going to go straight out. So. Now this peel is pretty big, so it's going to allow me to make a sizable pie. And I did go kind of big on these dough balls. These are 290, 295 uh, grams, which is on the big side for a Neapolitan pizza. So in we go. Let's see if I can get that. Oops. sticky there, but overall it worked well. Uh, I was uh, fiddling around with the camera, doing some other things, so probably some of the, the flour kind of got uh, moist and it got stuck there, but it's okay. So we went in there in one piece, and uh, now I'll show you how we use this little guy, the Essenza, they're called, so the oven is pretty hot. Mm. It's a nice thing about these, a very, very lightweight. I mean, very lightweight. See the bottom of my pie is already cooking. Not too bad though. Instructions: You don't want to leave these uh, peels in there that long, but under the pie and away from the direct heat, it's just fine. So let's uh, take a look into this guy. Beautiful pizza, I think. Okay, well, that is a very nice pizza, I think, and uh, I uh, highly recommend these these, uh, these pizza peels. You can get them on the uh, the website that sold me this guy. So, so I mean, uh, this is not a commercial for them, but uh, they they put out a pretty good product for the oven, and this thing has lasted me six years. The, the fire bricks are doing great, uh, no problems there. And these, this is this thing has been through the ringer, uh, cooking thousands and thousands of pizzas at uh, at uh, the uh, festivals here. 
uh, plus uh, doing my uh, my dinners every once in a while. And uh, yeah, these these pizza peels are worth it. I mean, they they do the job. Uh, and uh, like I say, the, this little guy is very forgiving. And this guy is wide and flexible. Uh, and I've already I've already used this, so I already know I already know that uh, it's uh, it's very simple and easy to use. So anyway, uh, if you're thinking about getting yourself some uh, pizza peels and you need a good turning peel and you're still a beginner, get this guy. And even if you're not a beginner, this guy goes great with one of these small ovens, portable ovens, and. Uh, it does, it, we're not gonna reach into those bigger, deeper ones, but it's gonna do you just fine with these guys. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching this video on these pizza peels. Take care, hope your pizza treats you well.